to Carlsbad now, where city leaders are considering a ban on cell phones in classrooms there. But the idea coming with some community pushback, and our Jamie Chambers attended a meeting tonight, and he joins us live with more. Jamie. Kathleen, they spent a lot of time discussing this, and really it is the biggest distraction. We all know that cell phones are a major issue when you're trying to stay focused. What they came up with this evening was really focused on making sure the language is consistent for their students, because when kids get those phones, it's even more difficult. So when it's elementary through middle school, the phones can be on their person, but it has to be put away for the entire day. But when you get into the high school age, they are saying with new language, they want to make sure that the kids can have the phones on them, but when class time hits, the phones have to be put away completely or there could be consequences. The all-powerful draw of a cell phone to a teenager has run up against the Carlsbad School District. As board members have made it clear there needs to be not necessarily a total ban, but a consistent policy putting away all cell phones during class time. Something, according to 60% of teachers, has become a problem. Parent volunteer Scott Davison says it's pretty apparent. Is it bedlam with the, the cell phones? Yeah, I volunteered in a classroom, you know, last month, and it's all the policies all over the place. So the kids, you know, a bunch of them had their phones, were playing with their phones, you know, during class time. Interestingly, 89% of students polled say there are no problems with the cell phones. Carly Jones, a student representative for the district, says the phone use isn't perfect. Put the phone away. Is that something that you hear often? I do. Depends on the day, depends on the student, but it's definitely a phrase that we hear. But for safety and emergencies, many parents agree their students should have the ability to call home if something is critical. They're not going anywhere, so we just have to learn how to the self-control and learning how to live with our cell phones. Self-control, that is the big one for all of us. Now the the uh, Carlsbad Education Board is going to come back next month, really solidify this language, making sure people understand that they have to keep those phones away, specifically in the high school times when classroom is on. So they can't have sort of one teacher do one thing and another teacher. They want consistency all the way through. And that's the very latest from Carlsbad. I'm Jamie Chambers. Kathleen, we'll send it back to you in the studio. All right. We'll see if the notion catches on. Thank you, Jamie.